The camera is usually installed and serviced by the armorer. Installations vary depending on the type of airplane. In the AT-6A, it's mounted inside the cockpit, directly behind the gun sight. Here, as in all airplanes, you'll find the necessary cables and connectors for attaching the camera to the airplane's power supply and putting it in circuit to be operated by the gun trigger. The gun camera must be aligned with the 90-degree erector system to photograph through the gun sight reflector at right angles to the camera's mounted position. Thus, it will take pictures of the reticle image as well as the target. A special bracket attached to the cowling is used to mount the camera behind the sight. This bracket permits accurate and permanent adjustments in alignment. Secure the camera to this mount with stud bolts and lock nuts. Bolt it down tight enough so it won't easily slip out of position. Test it. When you're sure it's okay, you're ready to go ahead with your final adjustments by sighting through the camera. To make this easier, open the lens to its widest aperture. Open the door at the bottom of the camera and move the latch lever out of the way to disconnect the driving mechanism. The bore sighting tool, in the shape of the film magazine, has an eyepiece offset to make it easier for you to do your sighting. Slip the bore sighting tool through the open door. You can now sight through the lens system and align the camera with the gun sight image. Move the camera until the crosshairs and the sighting tool fall directly over the dot in the reticle image. It's not necessary to center the camera behind the sight. You can place it down in one corner where it won't obscure the gunner's vision. When you're lined up, tighten the bolts to hold the camera firmly in position. Make the electrical connection and the installation is complete.